Hello and welcome to my channel, Billboards Builds. I'm Chet, aka Billboard. If you're a new viewer, uh, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thank you. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Flip that thumbs up like a hitchhiker. Uh, today is my final video for the Rock and Roll on Wheels group build hosted by Woody Scale Model Garage. Um, I wrote out a whole story that goes with it. There's, there's a main song that this is for, but I have like five or six references to different aspects of songs. Uh, outlaw Country, Rock and Roll, Southern Rock. Uh, disclaimer, the author of this story, that's namely me, takes some artistic license, some names and storylines have been changed. Well, of course, I wanted to. And to protect the guilty. This here is a story of Daisy Mae Moses and how she rained terror on Chevy and Ford drivers. Daisy Mae Moses lived in the Ozark Mountains. She had a daughter, Rose Ellen, who got married to Jed Clampett. They had a daughter, Ellie Mae. On Rose's deathbed, Jed promised to take care of her mother. Uh, the rest of uh, for the rest of her life. One day, an oil prospector uh, found oil on Jeb's property. The swamp was filled with it. Uh, the oil company came in and they bought out the oil rights from Jed for $25 million. If you uh, take into uh, inflation, that comes out to $250 million. Um, after uh, his Kin convinced him that uh, he should take his daughter and move to California, IA, namely Beverly Hills. Because uh, it's hills and they're living in the mountains, so same thing, right? <laughs> they're just uh, dirt poor farmers. Um, so Jed took his mother in law, his daughter, Ellie Mae, and his nephew, Jethro, to Beverly Hills. Late 1963, Granny, as Daisy May was known around those parts, was getting a little uh, frisky, and she had a little bit of a mean streak. Um, so, she, uh, and uh, she had a little, she hit a little too much of her white lightning. Um, so she had the uh, white lightning coverage, courage, and uh, so she had Jethro drive her 32 miles to Pasadena. Now, if, if uh, Daisy May or Granny was driving, they would have made the trip in 10 minutes. But Jethro was driving, so it took a lot longer. Um, she went and bought herself a a small getaway, uh, so she can plant her white gardenias. And on the property was a rickety old garage. She wanted something to fill the garage. So she went into a Dodge dealer with cash. And she started looking at the brand new 64 Dodges that were coming out. She told the salesman, hey, I want, I, I, I'm, I like in this car, but I want something speedy. So he was offering her different engine packages. She goes, you don't have anything faster than that? I said, 380. Don't you have anything faster than that? She goes, I could take my cash and go to Chevy or Ford if that's what you want. So they said, well, we do have a brand new engine that just came out. It's a 426 Hemi with a cross ram manifold. But this car is a is for drag racing. It's It's not a car that frankly, a little old lady would be driving. She said, listen, listen, Sonny, who you call a little old lady? So they, she bought the car, but she told them I wanted a nice, shiny red, guitar, uh, red car. And so they had a special paint job on it. Now let's go look at the car.
Here is a 1964 super stock Dodge. Um, it has a roll cage in it. It has uh, bench seats. has a four on the floor. And it has... A 426 Hemi with cross ram manifold. Um, I have air, air cleaners for it, but with the uh, hood on, the air cleaners don't fit. So, let's continue on the story about this car. So, she uh, purchased the, uh, the car from Dodge with the, with the Hemi and the four on the floor. She became the terror of Colorado Boulevard. Nobody would uh, go up against her. No one could catch her. Don't try her. Or you'd be going crying home to your mama. A couple of years later, the car ended up being uh, sold to a young down and out uh, rocker on the East Coast. He had he kept having bad luck. He kept telling his girlfriend he's gonna get out of he's gonna get out of hell in his Dodge. Well, he was in uh, Johnson County when he got caught in bed with the sheriff's wife. A gun battle ensued. He was blown away, and the sheriff had a red Dodge. The car ended up in an auction at the Mason's Lodge. Um. John Lee Pettimore Jr. bought the bought the car for his family business. Uh, Brandy would have been proud. They were they ran moonshine. Um, one day he was loading up for his weekly run to Knoxville, and the revenueers caught up with him. They uh, locked him up. They impounded the car. They burned all the whiskey he had, and they did, blew up the still. Uh, the sheriff showed up in the middle of the night and uh, to tell uh, his wife what had happened, and uh, John Lee Pettimore the third heard his mama crying. He knew something was wrong, and all up and down uh, Copperhead Road, you could smell the whiskey burning. In the 70s, the car was known to race up and down the boulevard on the Jersey Shore in Asbury Park. They would, uh, they would start from the palace, race past the Stone Pony, and end up by Convention Hall. And uh, then the car went to a... Uh, was for sale at a uh, used car lot. Eddie Montgomery broke up with his girlfriend. He was driving a pickup truck. The pickup, unfortunately, was a constant reminder of her. It was the first time they ever made love was in that pickup. So he wanted to, to get over the breakup, so he went to this used car dealer to trade in his pickup for a, a shiny muscle car. So he uh, saw the uh, red 64 Dodge and he uh, traded his pickup and uh, bought the Dodge. He wanted to use the Dodge to outrun her memory. Uh, remember, this Dodge does have the same uh, DNA as Christine. Just saying. You could say with this car... When you have the pedal to the floor, because uh, uh, you're flirting with disaster. So as, that is the story of a shiny red 1964 super stock Dodge and a little old lady from Pasadena. Credit to the Beverly Hillbillies, Jan and Dina and the Beach Boys for Little Old Lady of Pasadena, Out of Hell in My Dodge by Leonard Skinner, Copperhead Road Steve Earle, Born to Run Bruce Springsteen, Speed by Montgomery Gentry, 
and Molly Hatchet flirting with disaster. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, of this Dodge. Now, let's get some close looks of it. Well, here's, here's Granny. Granny came from uh, Jimmy Flintstone Studio. This is the first time I ever attempted to uh, open up the trunk. I put a floor pan in the trunk and I mounted the battery in the trunk and ran the wires for the battery. I don't know how well you can see in the interior. I'll have some, some pictures that I took during the build at the end of this video. It's the first time I ran brake lines. I made a little, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, proportion valve to run the lines like Chrysler used. I have hoses to the front brakes. You really can't see them. Here's the brake line. So that's my uh, Dodge. Now I'll tell you, I had this all set up nice. I had the engine in there, able to put the uh, hood on with no problem. Doing it the way that the destruction said to do it. Unfortunately, to run the brake lines, I needed the inner fender wells and the um, firewall in place, and because there was no room to do anything, so uh, I had to take the engine back out that I already had glued in place. Um, the resin engine came from, uh, I believe it came from. Texas 3D Customs. Well, when I put the engine back in, after I ran the lines and put the fender wells on, uh, and the uh, firewall in, I had a little bit of issue. I had the engine was in a different spot. It was sticking up too high. The hood wouldn't go on. And going back and forth, I got it in, in there, but I ended up breaking one of the uh, fan blades so there is a fan blade that is uh one of the blades is broken on there unless you really look close you can't notice it and this is not going in any show or anything this is just going on my shelf this is a fun build i now have like five or six more a330 uh, 64 Dodges. Um, I have Lindbergh kit that's the same as this uh, uh, AMT kit. It's identical. I have several Ram chargers. I have and I have uh, Maverick. Uh, it's a super stock Dodge. So. I'll be building several more of these Dodges. But it was a fun build. It was a great group build. I want to once again thank uh, Woody's uh, Scale Model Garage for putting this on. Um, until the next time, God bless. I'm out of here.